Aviation Defense Universe, popularly known as ADU, is honored to have Group Captain Jackie Shin, Principal Himalayan Mountain Institute today with us. He was commissioned in the Indian Air Force in 1996. Thereafter, he has been only jumping, jumping and jumping, not on the ground, from the air. He had almost 2,000 para jumps to his credit. He has been a famous parachute jumping instructor. Besides that, another area of aerosports, skydiving, he has established records of sorts. He has participated in various uh, para, uh, skydiving shows in India and abroad, including Australia and Russia. He has also carried out many uh, rescue operations in the mountains, being an avid mountaineer and a humanitarian person. He's, for his adventure sports activities, he has been, he has created six world records, five national records and two Asian records. Impressed by his, this talent, the President of India awarded him twice with Tenzin Norgi National Adventure Award and he is the only person who has got it twice and this award is considered equivalent to Arjun Award. He took over HMI in 2018 and when Azadika Amrit Mahosa was planned by the Prime Minister an idea came to his mind that we should do something unique so that the name of HMI is also all over the world during this period. He organized unfurling of 7,500 square feet of Tiranga almost all over the world. In India, it was Victoria Memorial, Calcutta. It was Unity Statue in Gujarat. It was in Srinagar and the best part was when he went to Antarctica and in very difficult conditions of Antarctica with minus temperature going up to 60 degrees with blizzards, snow blizzards and other terrifying conditions and difficult conditions he created this record there too. This uh, feat has been also uh, accomplished in India from Sikkim to all over the Pan, Pan, Pan Nation. Besides these activities, he has also been responsible for motivating the youth of this area as a principal of HMI, especially in Green Revolution, in disaster management and also mountain cycling. Uh, Aviation Defense and Universe is privileged to interview him today. I would like to know from you uh, about uh, the achievements of Hindustan Mountain Institutes uh, right from the beginning Achievement. And, and the people who have contributed in this. That means those uh, great mountaineers uh, who have been introduced by Hindustan Mountain Institute. Jai sir, namaskar to all the viewers. Uh, sir, about HMI, we are started in 1954. As we all are aware, AWS was submitted the first time in history by Tenji Nolay Sherpa and Sir Edward in 1953. Thereafter, vision came into India that we should have our own mountain institute to promote adventure sports and encourage youth organization to take part in risky activity and bring glory to the nation. 
That is how Tehi Nogai Sherpa became the first field director of the institute no. in 1954 and Major Andy Jal became the first founder principal of the institute. Last 68 years, sir, we have trained more than 48,000 trainees from oh, India. That's great. That's India, great. Yes, sir. From India and abroad, sir. And the age is starting from 12 years to as uh, young as 65. I won't say old, as young as 65 years. That's why you're looking so young. <laughs> sir, thanks for compliments, sir. <laughs> sir, uh, we have a good, uh, strong legacy and a rich history, sir. In last 68 years, we have, tra we have trained, as I mentioned, and we have produced a great mountaineers who skills various peak in India and abroad. Starting itself, like Tejinoge Sherpa, his uh, name is still yes. you know, with all the mountain fraternity across the world. And 29th May is happened to be his birth anniversary. And it is celebrated as an average day all across the world. You must have done it last year too. Uh, yes. Sir. Last, yesterday also. Yes, sir. Mm. Yesterday happened to on 9th May, it was a death anniversary, sir. Mm. And 29th May is going to be average oh. day, sir. Okay. And uh, he was a very humble, down to earth person, always smiling face. And that is why I think uh, that is how he climbed okay. the top of Mount Everest 1953. Yes. And the legacy country, then we have uh, uh, Nawang Gombu Saab. He was a second field director of the institute. And uh, he was the first person in the world to climb Everest twice in 1963 oh. and 65. So that's great. Yes. And uh, he was a second field director of the institute. Then we have a legendary climber with us, uh, Aung Kami, then uh, followed by uh, Lakpa Sherpa and uh, Nima Doje and Doje Latu. They are not climbers and they are faculty with HMI. So. Okay. If we talk about the principal uh, major Andy Chia, very renowned mountain and a very skilled mountain during his time. Sir. Unfortunately, he lived by short life. Sir. He died in an expedition on Mount Choyu. In 1958. Oh, so sad. Sir. And thereafter, Brigadier uh, Gyan, sir. Colonel N. Kumar is known for everyone, Bull, sir. Bull Kumar. Bull Kumar, sir. Uh, he was a principal here, sir. And we all are aware he was a person who saved Siachin. Hmm. That's then, right. Then Brigadier Khuller. And the legacy continued. And uh, I am fortunate to have this institute, sir, from uh, year 2018, sir. When I took over the institute, sir, the, it was uh, a big challenge for me to start something different from the routine pattern. Sir. Mm -hmm. So we introduced Go Green concept because everywhere we talk about a global warming, the issue and uh, mountaineers as a responsible mountain, we yes. have a responsibility to encourage our youth to follow Go Green practices sir, to save our, protect our environment. And as the time continues, sir, we start doing regular training. We have pre-monsoon and post-monsoon training session. We conduct basic course, advanced mountain course, search and rescue course, method instructions course and the adventure course for the youth of the nation. The, when the COVID strike in 2020 in the month of March, that was of course a nightmare for all the human beings, not only for us, for anyone across the world. Yes. Sir. yes. Unfortunately, in the month of uh, March 2020, our 75, 20 and 50 staff were stuck in Kanchanchan National Park at a height of 14,600 feet, sir. Okay. And that was the day on 23rd March when the lockdown was announced by Honor Prime Minister. So the biggest task with us was to rescue these people and get back to safety at HMI and host them in a safe environment at HMI. With the God Spirit and the, with the team efforts that we saved everyone, we got them here, we rescued them from 14,600 feet and they kept with us at HMI. And uh, uh, then the journey continues, so COVID was on and off, it was a big challenge to sustain the into, uh, institute and uh, how to revive the activities, how to keep our youth motivated. Yes. If we recollect uh, our Honorable Prime Minister speech on 15 August 2020 mm. from Red Fort, yes. he mentioned that we will celebrate Ajadika Jashn, Ajadika Amit Mahasa. He did, he did mention that. Sir, so uh, that was a striking point in my mind, you know, like uh, we can't go outside and at the same time we should connect to our youth, we should motivate them. Yes. So in person, so that's the uh, first uh, in the month of December and January 2021, we did 75 hours non-stop Surya Namaskar with the local youth. Mm. So that has become a world record, sir. 
75 hours non stop surya namaskar relay events happen in hmi way in the local youth was called and they were hosting at hmi itself during covid period oh but i am told you did that in uh, antarctica too with yes sir oh, that yes. that's a sir really like uh, as a mounting institute as a, or as a indian we have the responsibility first is to encourage our youth and to leave our footprint our tradition all across the world sir i think that was the vision and that was the feeling which encourage us to go out of way concepts mm-hmm. and uh, day after sir uh, in month of march 2021 we were about to resume our courses when the covid leaves were there sir some uh, comfort was from covid uh, yes. spread so that time we thought ki how we can uh, encourage our youth when our students when they are going up in mountain sikkim mm-hmm. so uh, i had a dream that sometime will unfold the biggest flag of india on our mountain yes. great so that was the starting point sir mm-hmm. and uh, then the journey began in april uh, 2021 25th april we <coughs> precise and with our students we unfold the 7th on fine square feet national flag tiranga at a height of 16000 feet in sikkim himalaya and that is just before the second wave of covid so which was a place in sikkim it is mount renox at hmi base camp okay, okay. and continue with that sir we did the uh, we climbed four peaks during the same period at hmi base camp in 125 hours by 125 trainees as a tribute to netai swashan boss as we were celebrating 125th birth anniversary of netai swashan boss i got great so uh, these are the reasons and the thoughts were coming sir because uh, crises are there crises were there now how to turn the crisis into opportunity mm-hmm. that is uh, i think uh, we learn during crisis only as a defense person or i'll say before that as a indian mm-hmm. as a bharti it was a opportunity to do something yes. out of concept it's very creative sir very creative so uh, then uh, the flag journey continued and we displayed the same flag on 15th august 2021 at victoria memorial in kolkata mm-hmm. and we had a uh, privilege to interact with our own raksha mantri sri rana singh ji and he gave us a go ahead to display the flag in various part of india mm-hmm. and to antarctica mm-hmm. to antarctica yes sir mm-hmm. the white desert sir yeah white desert the coldest place yes then uh, this flag journey continued and the best part of the we made this flag at ourselves because uh, during covid there were no resources outside we just uh, try to manage the cloth and our own tailor stitched this flag in three panel because carrying this huge flag yes. in high altitude area first the weight itself and then to maintain the code code of flag, flag code is very essential yes. Yes. and then uh, uh, of course when we have a large number of people it is easy to manage hmm. but in a remote area when you operating with yes. a limited manpower to maintain the dignity of the flag and the nation pride it was a big task tell me one thing sir uh, would be what was the material used for the cloth or uh, for the flag so it's a polyester flag sir. polyester polyester, polyester fiber sir. yes sir. so then uh, 31st october we displayed the same flag at the statue of unity mm-hmm. in gujarat mm-hmm. and in the month of uh, november december in 2021 proudly with three indians painted the white contour with indian tricolor aur main kar ke sath bolta hu कि तीन भारतीयों ने सफेद सुनसान अंटार्कटिका को तिरंगे से रंगीन कर दिया माय गॉड फैंटास्टिक कांग्रेचुलेशंस बट टेल मी वन थिंग सर ओनली थ्री यस सर हाउ कुड डू इट दैट इज द बिगेस्ट टास्क सर एंड बिकॉज़ द कोविड वाज स्टिल ऑन सर एंड इट वाज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू मैनेज अ बिग टीम टू गो टू अंटार्कटिका जनरली पीपल गो देयर टू क्लाइंब द हाईएस्ट पीक ऑफ अंटार्कटिका कॉन्टिनेंट or or they go to south pole or do some excursion activity mm-hmm. so our aim was to first we'll climb the highest peak of antarctica that is mount wilson mm-hmm. then we kept on adding various activity to leave indian footprint on antarctica and establish new records can i have a look at that uh, some photograph of that yes. flag yes. uh, here in this place yes sir pause is that the one yeah these are flags yeah in antarctica yes 
Like this is, I, this is at Union Glacier, sir. I can see the shelter yes, behind. Yes, sir. And uh, if you see the banner below the national flag, it yeah. is uh, the logo of Ajadi Garment Mosso. Hmm. And uh, it is uh, like, you know, once you're going for a mission, try to go with full preparation. Okay. As you see, uh, we are displaying the co 26 message of our former Prime Minister when he gave Panchamrit, the oh. whole world, oh. to reduce global warming. Yeah. So there are a lot of inspiration from our, uh, you know, hierarchy, which yeah. we, that, and this is what we carry to Antarctica. Mm. So one was that we climbed Antarctica highest peak, sir, Mount Green, sir, in a very hostile environment where temperature was always minus 35 degrees Celsius. Whole, uh, it's day or night, there's no night, it's whole 20 hours, 24 hours day, mm. bright sunlight. And we got into storms as well, sir, polar uh -huh. storm. Uh -huh. so we spent around 60 hours, survived there at a high altitude. Going further, sir, we rescued from high camp two German uh, climbers. Oh. They were stuck there, they were not well, and they approached to us that if we can get them down to safety. And uh, as an Indian, as a proud mountain, as a proud Indian, we got them back to safety, that's, sir. That's very nice. Then, uh, as, sir, under the banner of Ajadi Gambit Moso, while India are celebrating 125th birth anniversary of Nita Subhash and Bose, we three Indians did 125 sequence of Surya Namaskar in that cold desert Antarctica. In Antarctica? Antarctica. So 125? 125 sequence of Surya Namaskar, non stop, sir. So, this is what's the. Uh, Do you have any photograph of that? Uh, yes, sir, we have, sir. I would like to share. Uh, I'll share with you. With the sure. ADU? Yes, sir. But tell me, you know, three of you. Yeah, who are those other two? Sir, I have a Subedar Mahinda Yadav, he is mm -hmm. from 12 Para Battalion. Okay. And one civil instructor, Sumendu, sir. Okay. Sir, I'll introduce yeah. them, sir. Well, that'd be nice. Yes. Sir. I'd like to talk to them. Yes, sir. Yes. Then, uh, sir, like uh, we did uh, 21 kilometer cycling, MTB cycling on the Union Glacier. Okay. To promote co 26 message of our, our <laughs> honor <laughs> Prime Minister. Yeah. To uh, reduce global environmental sustainability. sustainability and to reduce global warming, mm -hmm. and going further, sir, like uh, I was do a skydiving jump on in glacier, Antarctica. You did that? Uh, unfortunately, because of COVID spread, that jump got cancelled. Oh. So what I did once we were coming back, we had a transit hold in Santiago, in mm -hmm. Chile. Mm -hmm. We had an interaction with the Indian embassy there and on the ambassador, sir. And I took the opportunity to do a skydiving on the Andes mountain range in Chile okay. and uh, unfurl the 75 years oh, great. Years, years flag that must be great in, in a Chile uh, you know, the, yeah. the southernmost uh, city oh, nice. of uh, the world sir. Mm. and uh, this flag sir is uh, very close to all of us sir. Yes. it doesn't make a difference it's a small or a big one yes but why we choose the 7,500 square feet size it is symbolizing 75 glorious years old Indian independence, a tribute to Indian freedom fighters, a tribute to all the armed forces who are protecting our nation and any Indian who is supporting the cause and the growth of India. Sir. I compliment you, Thanks, Guruji, sir. Uh, for uh, this great feat. And on behalf of the Aviation Defense Universe, uh, I, I proudly uh, compliment you, congratulate you and your team who did this very arduous task. So, and uh, Surya Namaskar, heads off. I find it difficult to do even sir. one. <laughs> no, sir, you all are inspiration for us, sir. Yeah. And uh, we are following the footprint uh, yeah. of all of you, sir. Very kind of you. Thank you, sir. And uh, then the flag journey is still continues, sir. And subsequently, we displayed this flag in Darjeeling in various occasions during Har Ghar Tiranga event. And then last year, 2022, on 15th August, sir, the same flag was displayed on Dal Lake, oh. Shrinagar, 15th August. Sir. Mm -hmm. And we took a smaller flag, which is 750 square feet. We displayed the same flag at large of the most sensitive yeah, place. Most sensitive. Most and, sensitive. Uh, which gave us a lot of goosebumps mm -hmm. and uh, a great salute to all the Indian armed forces who are protecting yes. our nation. Sir. Yes, yes. Journey is still on, sir. And uh, we are planning to display this flag in Delhi which will be our final destination, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Sir, as I mentioned that uh, we, we are three members yes. and uh, fortunately at present, I have Sudhar Mahinder Kumar who was with us during Antarctica and he was uh, 
I'll say my right hand for unfolding this flag from Sikkim Himalaya to Pan India Antarctica. Okay. I would like to introduce to him, sir. Okay, thank you. I like oh, to talk to Mahindra Kumar, sir. Okay. Mahindra Kumar, sir. Yes, sir. आप तो ट्वेल्थ पैरा के हैं सर हाँ मेरा से मेरा बड़ा प्यार है टेंथ पैरा जब मैं जोधपुर में था तो उनके साथ में मेरा काफी इंटरेक्शन था पैरा तो भाई बहुत आन बान शान है भारतीय फौज की जब कोई काम नहीं होना करना होता है मुश्किल काम करना होता है तो पैरा को याद किया जाता है आपको आपके प्रिंसिपल साहब ने सेलेक्ट किया सर तो जब आपको जाना था एंटार्क्टिका के लिए खासतौर वही की बात करूंगा मैं आपसे तो काफी मशक्कत करी होगी आपने काफी yes. तैयारी की होगी yes. लेकिन एंटरटेनर तो बहुत डिफरेंट टाइप का वो फील्ड है अब ये बताइए कि जो आपने तैयारी की थी वहां जाने के बाद में क्या वो तैयारी ठीक रही या कोई परेशानी आई आपको सर सबसे पहले तो बताऊंगा कि जब इस जगह के लिए सिलेक्शन किया था सर ने तो उस समय मैं छुट्टी के ऊपर था घर पर तो सर ने बोला की सर ऐसे ऐसे इंसान है और उसके लिए आप तैयारी करो तो मैंने फिर अपने घर से तैयारी शुरू कर दी थी अच्छा फिटनेस तो थी लेकिन मेरे को पता था कि मिशन बहुत बड़ा है तो उसके लिए अपने आप को सबसे पहले तैयार और प्रूव करना पड़ेगा तो वहीं से तैयारी शुरू की फिर मैं यहाँ छुट्टी काट के यहाँ पर आ गया तब तक साहब और जो सुनंद उस्ताद थे दोनों एवरी मॉर्निंग दो घंटे रनिंग एंड एक्सरसाइज तो उसी में आके फिर मैं भी यहाँ पर शामिल हो गया तो पहले हमने दस दिन तक रनिंग किया दस दिन के बाद में फिर हमने जो हमें बैग लेके चलना है तो वो लेकर के एवरी डे पंद्रह से बीस किलोमीटर का हमें जो वॉकिंग एंड रन दोनों करते थे फिर वो जैसे जैसे चलता रहा उसके बाद में हमें वहां पर स्लैज लेके भी चलना था तो उसके लिए हमने जो हमारी गाड़ियों के जो टायर है वो लिए अच्छा यस और उनको तैयार करके एवरी डे लगा करके उसको पीछे हुक करके और एवरी डे उसी के साथ यहाँ पर है हमारे हाइट में लेके जाना और उसको वापस लेके आना तो कितना वजन तो होगा टायर का उसका टायर का समथिंग पंद्रह के जी के आसपास पिट्ठू भी था पिट्ठू तो, तो दोनों के साथ हमने यहाँ पर ट्रेनिंग की और साथ में हमें वहाँ पर मेन मौसम का था तो मौसम के लिए फिर हमने अपना जो बेस कैम्प चुनाव किया था तो बेस कैम्प में हम एवरी जो हमारा सितम्बर का कोर्स स्टार्ट था तो उसमें हमने की वहाँ यदि हम ठंड में रहेंगे तो कैसे हम प्रिवेंशन करेंगे उसी के हिसाब से सर ने हमारी तैयारी कराई थी तो सर गूगल के ऊपर देखते रहते थे हमेशा फिर हमें बताते थे कि आपको ऐसे करना है वहां पर ये वहां पर ये प्रॉब्लम आएंगी या तो उसके लिए आप अपने आप को पहले से तैयार कर लो तो उसी के हिसाब से हमने सर अपनी तैयारी की थी और तैयारी तो सर ने इतनी टफ करवा दी थी क्योंकि सर के बहुत ज्यादा एक्सपीरियंस है क्योंकि एट के दो तीन से चार एक्सपेक्टेशन है सर की तो सर को पता है कि यदि माइनस थर्टी फोर्टी डिग्री में रहना है तो किस प्रकार से अपने आप को सरवाइव करना है तो इसी प्रकार से हमारी सर तैयारी करवाई थी सर वहां जब पहुंचे आप एंटार्क्टिका के अंदर तो जो ट्रेनिंग की थी क्या वो पूरी काम ठीक रही या कुछ और परेशानी आई सर कभी भी आप देखते हो कि किसी भी मिशन के लिए तैयारी तो आप सिर्फ जिस जगह जाते हो तभी पता चलता है तो उससे पहले कभी अपने आप को हम पूरी अच्छी तरीके से तैयारी तो नहीं मान सकते लेकिन एक्सपीरियंस uh, और जो गूगल के हिसाब से सर ने जो तैयारी कराई थी तकरीबन सेवेंटी टू सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट बिल्कुल करेक्ट करवा दी थी ये बताइए आप मेरे को महेंद्र कुमार साहब देखिए तब बढ़िया मिशन दुनिया का मतलब दिख रही है और भारत का नाम ऊंचा कर रहे हैं आप अपना तिरंगा झंड फहरा रहे हैं वहां पर तो आपको कैसा लगा वहां पर सर जब ट्राई कलर देखते हैं तो बचपन से देखते हैं जब हम बचपन में पढ़ते थे तो 15 अगस्त 26 जनवरी को जब स्कूल के अंदर होस्ट होता था तो माहौल कुछ अलग ही होता था तो लेकिन एक आज हमारा ऐसा दिन मिला कि हमें वो छोटा फ्लैग और आज इतना बड़ा फ्लैग जो हम खुद लेके जा रहे हैं और उसको अनफल करके तो वो भी ऐसी जगह के ऊपर जहां जनजीवन भी नहीं है कोई रहता भी नहीं है तो सर मोस्टली जो अंदर से जो फीलिंग होगी तो तो आपने देखने के बाद में आपको फीलिंग आई तो हमने ग्राउंड में किया होगा तो क्या लगा होगा ठीक बात है ये बताइए आप मेरे को कि इस मिशन के बाद देखिए पैराज के जवान जो होते हैं वो तो बहुत बात होते हैं उनको तो ट्रेन किया जाता है कि जो मुश्किल से मुश्किल काम है वो सब वो उसको सफल करें 
लेकिन ये जो था ये बहुत डिफिकल्ट टाइप का था टेम्परेचर माइनस सिक्सटी तक पहुंच रहा था ब्लेजर्ड थे बर्फ के और मौसम हमेशा खराब रहता था और जैसा आप बता रहे थे कि स्काई डाइविंग भी नहीं कर सके वहां पर वो तो आपके अपने जो व्यक्तित्व है आपका खुद का उसके अंदर क्या तब्दीली लगी आपको लौटने के बाद आपको पता है कि जो पैरा कमांडोज होते हैं आक्रामक होते हैं उनका स्वभाव ही आक्रामक उनको बस एक ही है जो मिशन है उसको कैसे कम्प्लीट करना है तो वो डिपेंड ऑन जैसे हालात होते हैं लेकिन सर वहां मैंने एक चीज किया कि जैसे कौन प्लेस है सर तो अपने शरीर के अंदर या अपने व्यवहार में शालीनता पैदा की कि हर जगह आक्रामकता से काम नहीं होता शालीनता भी अपने अंदर फोटी यस क्योंकि मैं सर को भी पता है जब भी मैं आया था तो सर जो भी मेरे को काम देते थे तो मैं बहुत उत्सुक होते ना बहुत जल्दी जल्दी करता था तो, लेकिन सर बोलते थे कि सब थोड़ा सा वेट भी कर लो तो मैंने वो चीजें वहां जाके कि मैं यदि इतने ठंडे वेदर में आया हूँ ऐसी जगह में लिया तो अपने आप को एक शालीनता के हिसाब से या कुल के हिसाब से रखूंगा तो वो ही मैंने अपना अपनाया और मैं बस मिशन में जो काम मिला लगातार चलते रहा गया कि और करते रहा सर महेंद्र गुबरा साहब मैं एविएशन डिफेंस यूनिवर्सिटी की तरफ से आपको बहुत बहुत बधाई देता हूँ थैंक यू सर और मुबारकबाद देता हूँ कि आपने ये जो कार्यक्रम ग्रुप कैट जैकेशन साहब ने प्लान किया था उसको सफल बनाने के अंदर जैसे वो कहते हैं आप राइट हैंड मैन थे तो उसमें आपका बड़ा बड़ा दाम रहा है आपका योगदान रहा है उसके लिए बहुत बहुत सर ये तो सर का बड़पन है हाँ। और सर ने जो मेरे को बताया जितना ठीक हाँ। है कि मैंने कोशिश किया कि हम तीन ही आदमी हैं और इन्होंने जितना बताया है यदि वो सही तरीके से मैं नहीं कर पाऊंगा तो ये अपने मिशन में फेल हो जाएंगे तो लोगों को क्या लगेगा क्या नहीं लगेगा तो मैंने उसी हिसाब से करने की कोशिश बहुत बहुत थैंक यू सर धन्यवाद गुड क्रेड जैकेशन आई जस्ट गॉट अ सैंपल ऑफ द लीडरशिप फ्रॉम सुबेदार uh mahendra kumar about you is very commendable very credible and uh, to achieve such herculean task one has to have a good team spirit which you are able to make and with a lean and mean efficient organization you achieved it uh, now in the end i would like to only ask you as to uh, you came here in 2018 you made this achievement during covid what other uh, plans do you have in the pipeline or what vision you have for the hmi sir as mentioned actually the premium mounting is to our focus remains same to produce good mountaineer a responsible mountaineer yes at the same time sir we are trying to promote a uh, survival skills t survival skills and okay. rescue is rescue skills hmm. to local youth free of cost okay Uh, so far in last two year we have trained more than 250 youth of uh, dazzling who are trained to first to survive themselves in case of natural calamity mm. or they can be a uh, you know force multiplier in case of any natural calamity take okay. to support the local administration mm. as a vision plan from hmi side uh, I, i would like to see that you know we can conduct this kind of training pan india because uh, natural calamity disaster part and parcel of our life nobody can escape and uh, for god forbidden if something big happen then we all look for the resources the armed forces are there disaster management teams are there they themselves are highly occupied yes so as a uh, if i have to think of a vision at the pan india concept i like to impart the rescue and survival training to each and every person pan india so that they have a basic knowledge first to how to survive and how to support a person who are in distress so this is one vision which we are looking forward to and hopefully we will uh, achieve it at a very fast and very very soon sir god willing thank you sir definitely sir. Uh, at the end on behalf of the avian defense universe i would like to compliment you and your team and the himalayan mountain institute for uh, trying to do aim plus more than what has been assigned to you sir especially this particular concept of 
rescue and survival i think is very very important because i have seen most of the time the disaster management uh, organizations either are not functional or they are functional they are inadequate manpower or equipment and therefore if every individual in the country uh, as uh, vision by you is trained in survival and rescue missions i think a uh, lot of problem can be yes. solved and lot of lives can be saved yes. so they can be a, a first responder yes. who have very basic uh, knowledge and yes. information yes. Yes. so uh, they can support a larger scale formation yes. as yes. well sir thank you very much for thank spending you, your precious time so it's a great pleasure to uh, have you here sir <laughs> at hmi and yeah, uh, same here so i enjoyed it so, yeah thank so, you so much so. jai sir i'm going wiser sir so.